Okay, Maisie and Tom are coming to the farm to harvest some ackee from our ackee trees. Those are those red things that I always say look like plastic fruit. And we've got a dried up bamboo pole, so it's lightweight. Mm -hmm. And then, and a bag, that's what we need. And Maisie's gonna take that pole and knock them down and we'll pick them up, put them in the bag. So you don't wanna eat them until they open, but you can pick them while they're still closed and then take them home and and just lay them out waiting for them to open. And when they open, then you can take the meat out of them take the seed out of them and then you have Aki. So anyway, that's what we're doing. If the goat's still look like I'm dead. Yeah. See the rope around him neck. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Look at this. Goat still has a head around his neck. I mean the rope around his neck. I'm not sure that's what that oh who knows. Okay. Here we go, walking around the farm. Huh? They what? The puppy tree. Seems like somebody came and picked puppy. Yeah, here in the back, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't leave any low ones. Maybe. Well, look around for footprints at the bottom, then we'll know. Huh? How are we gonna see footprints through these bush? Well, maybe up under the tree we'll see them. How we gonna reach under the tree now? This way. You know if it's all thick to the bush? Yeah, this is horrible. This is like this was never cut. Yeah. Watch the stumps. Yeah. Well, here's some wood here that didn't get picked up and made into coal either. Look at this. Look at all this wood, unless this is the kind they can't make into coal. Look at that. Too bushy to reach it all. Well, oh well. I don't see a single open one. And it was, it was loaded with acid, so somebody must have picked the full ones, I don't know. Uh-huh. Maybe they picked the full ones. I don't know, I'm gonna take, turn my phone off and go up in there and take a look. Okay, this right here is a, a lime tree. It's coming in. So it had kind of some weeds growing up on it that I pulled off. So that can grow. All right, we didn't end up trying to get any Aki off that one in the back. And then somebody came on the property, we had to run off. It's a, it's a man that just kind of lost his mind. Mm -hmm. So we know him, we see him around. Oh, there's a whole bunch back here, sweetie. I want to get these, but I cannot. Well, maybe I can reach, because I'm taller. Yeah, so you know. can find this temp and just... Okay, Maisie got, here's the machete, and made a little groove in the pole here. I had a whole bunch that I knocked down a minute ago, but I broke the end of it, end of the stick. But they fell like crazy. Some even hit me in the face because I was looking up at it. So, but I can reach a few better now with this and twist them off. So that's what I'm gonna do. You want to video me doing it, maybe? I'm gonna get this little groove that you put in the in here, right on that branch there. Get it on there and then twist it. And down they come, just like that. Just like that. These right here. Yeah, pick the all of those on the next beside it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And then these, no? Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. not open there. Yeah, I'm pick it, pick it, oh, man. Here's one, here's one, here's one. No, they're open. all full to them, so just pick okay. them. Pick all of those. Oh, I'm not.
Wait, how am I getting the hat? Oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, pick all of those. Just get all of them. Okay. No, leave that doors. Get the next ones in the, yeah, doors. Oh, that one there? Okay. And the two down to the end here. Those two there. Yeah, no, yeah, those. Oh, I see. Yeah. You just put that up and twist it. There um, we go. I got all in your shed. All right, yeah. I don't know if you all saw my masterful technique, but I put this notch up around the branch and I just twist it. Twist it and twist it. Sometimes the ackee comes down with a stick, sometimes it just falls. So, anyway, we're going to move on to some others over here. Okay, here's one that I can. Let me pick it. That's what it's doing. Okay. You'll, you'll film. I'll film it while you pick it. It's it yeah. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Good job. Okay. Nice open one. Maybe it seems to be a little bit better than that. I mean, she must have more practice. Very good. <laughs> you see these two something? Uh huh. Oh yeah, something's been eating on those. That kind of stuff. Yeah. You need to clear away the bushes. And the, the whole side of the hat. Mm-hmm. This is two days later, and we've already done one batch of the Aki. But here's the Aki that have opened up. Look at them, look at them. Was there like nine or something there? I think are what I counted earlier. So nine. I'm gonna sit behind Maisie so we can see what's done here and see how she does it. And let everybody know that only the inside part is not poison. The, the outside and the seed is poison, so. <coughs> she's just gonna take them out like that. Some Animals that eat this skin, though, don't do them anything. Oh, really? No, because I understand remember... it does something to their glucose, or it does something to a human's glucose. Oh, I'll have to read about it because yeah. there is, yeah. I don't even remember the name of the poison, it's a gas like. Yeah, it, yeah. And it has to come out. Mm hmm. But there are still animals that eat it because see the ackee tree, like, see this? Something start eating it and oh, it's a kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are some that they eat it down. So some animal can handle it. Mm -hmm. So, so far it looks like it's pretty simple work. You just have to wait for them to open up. Yeah. And as you can see, it's obviously open. It's not a question. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are sitting up on the veranda doing our work. I'm oh, getting a nice little amount. Now, will you cook these up today or, or, or no? I'm gonna clean them. Clean them? Then um, you'll cook them may, up or maybe no? Maybe put them in the fridge, if I don't. If you don't have enough to cook, you'll wait till you have more. I have one batch in the fridge already, remember? I have one bag already. That cooked, is, right? Are, yeah, that is yeah. cooked. Yeah. Okay, so all that part's done. That part was simple. So now the next part, oh, you just pop the seed off. You can pop it or cut it, but you waste more of it when you, yeah. see, you cut it and you make sure no gut is in it. Okay. So that one is clean. 
Because the gut's a little bit of poison in it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gut, you don't eat the gut. Yeah. See, this one has gut. Now, I understand since 1973, these can't be in these can't be imported by the United States because they're too worried about the the control. They even though they grow them in Florida for their own selves, the only way you can get them in the U.S. is if you buy them in a can. And they only started doing that several years ago. And yes, and the can one is the one that is piling at eve. It's not even the one that opened on the tree on the tree. Yeah, the one that just yeah yeah. Well, they're. Cooking alone won't get rid of the poison. You have to let them open first. Yeah, you have to let them open. Yeah. Because it seems like the gas is in it, in the meat too. And mm -hmm. when it's mature enough, the gas gets out. And that's why it opens. Oh, okay. Like it's, it's, it's blue and it's this part open. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get out this black part on the seed. Okay. And this is there, pretty firm you know and you then have the some... inside just kind of comes out with your finger or you have to cut a little bit sometimes mm -hmm. because i want to um get the black from the seed oh. no just that one few little blocks not gonna do anything okay is if you should consume a lot <clears throat> mm -hmm. now i understand that in africa they don't cook these no it's a fruit it, and it is a fruit that's true and so in africa they don't cook them and I also read online where there's some that are called butter and some that are called cheese. Yeah. So tell me about the difference there. Well, I know that the butter one is very soft. You more have to cook it in a cheesecloth. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it will just... Fall melt. apart. Yeah, melt so, you know, just soft, yeah. Yeah, it said you can yeah. even make ice cream with it. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, this guy here uh, make ice cream with it. Okay. Today. But so, so these are cheese then. Yeah, yeah. These so these supposed to be the cheese. Okay, because they stay in one piece. Better. Yeah, yeah. They stay and even after piece. you cook them, they're kind of That's, somewhat solid, like a cheese. Yeah, like they stay in cheese. one piece. They stay in one piece. But yeah. they're still fairly soft. And you know, people say that when they're cooked, they look like um, scrambled Scrambled eggs. egg. Yeah. That's and true. people say, but they don't taste that way. But mm -mm. to me, I think they taste that way. So, but that's just me because everything I've read, and even you don't think they taste that way. But no. so for some reason, the, the the way they look makes me think they're scrambled eggs. But maybe it's the fact that they're usually cooked in like a a coconut in coconut milk and stuff like that, right? If you want, you can cook it in your know, like your rundown salt fish, and mm -hmm. so when you cook coconut milk, and then you add it when it's uh -huh. um, cooked. Yeah. Okay. But you, you don't have to use rundown. Yeah. Like I would just cook some hockey and salt fish. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And pork, it's good with corn pork. Oh, okay. Even fresh pork, but corn pork. Can you corn your own pork? Don't you know that? <laughs> I know it, but I'm asking for the <laughs> audience here. Yeah, of course. And you even corn your own beef, but mostly it's the pork you corn. I do, yeah, yeah, and I do my own bacon. And you make your own bacon. You grind your own hamburger. Yeah. And this last time you ground pork, pork and, and, and beef, and beef together. together. Mm -hmm. And yeah. made burger, made make patties. Wonderful patties. They were very burger. nice. I yeah. must admit, I really enjoyed them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, we're gonna do videos on all that stuff at some point when we get around to. Oh, you also make your own pickles. We've got. Oh, we just made some the other day because dill you know, in, pickles. in Jamaica you can't get like a whole dill pickle that I've always just loved my whole life from growing up in America. And so Maisie um, figured out how to make her own pickles. And it takes about two weeks from the time she prepares the jar uh, for them to be ready. And they're really delicious. And when she puts a, a skin of a, uh, a scotch bonnet pepper in them. That's what you want in it? Yes, and that That's makes them very get. hot, very hot and very nice. Yeah. They're really spicy that way. And I put piment, <coughs> piment, um, pimento leaves. Pimento leaves in there too. Oh, you, I can put the berries too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're and all spice dill. berries and dill. And some dill. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, one of these times and we're going to do a whole video on that. So, you know, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, be sure and subscribe. And, and uh, if you like to get notifications, click that bell notification. So you get notified when our next video comes out. 
Right now we're, we seem to be coming out about once a week, but who knows how that's gonna change or if it'll be more frequent or less frequent. But all these fun things we're talking about, be sure and subscribe so you'll be able to watch those things too. And we'll, we'll show Maisie doing her Jamaican thing and at the same time doing some things that make an American uh, more comfortable in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So and we'll have a shirt that just like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe, exactly. Okay, well you're getting a nice little bowl here. Yeah. yeah. I think when I'm done I'll show I'll show some that you have in the refrigerator that you've it's that in you've a bag. Done. It's in a bag in there. The, the frozen bag in there. Yeah. That, it's boiled already. And they're already boiled up and ready to Ready to cook. Mm -hmm. They are already yeah. cooked. It's just ready to add to some dish. Yeah. With a Akian salt, fish or pork or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> Morning. 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 How are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, dude. Dad, Dad. You know, these the guts are pretty clean. I don't, you know, it's like some, most of yep, them, nothing there, in it. There's really not much, much you have to mm -hmm. do to them. Sometimes you have to cut out the, Sometimes the guts a, a little more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they have a lot of guts. But these are quite easy to do, so mm -hmm. that's nice. Good. Yeah. Now, these were a little smaller than some that I've seen. Yeah, you because the past. tree that you got, some of them are, they are smaller. The mm -hmm. One of that, that inside tree. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And you know, it could be that it's not getting, it's not exposed too much. It's so crowded in the middle it's there. It's too crowded there. Yeah, we got to yeah. get it cut out and maybe mm -hmm. cut down one of the trees. And yeah, 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 we have to just look and that, see which that tree. That one in the put. back had a lot of nice ones on there, but mm -hmm. somebody beat us to them on our own property. So that was kind of bad, but we don't live down there at the farm. So we have to just put up with what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe when we fence it off. Once we fence it off and have it all cut out, people are going to recognize that somebody they know, but it's easy access, you it's know. It's easy access, and if they can do it, it nobody's going to see them and mm -hmm. get caught. And they can always run off to the side if they see, hear somebody coming. Because mm -hmm. it's bush to the two sides. Mm -hmm. So you can plant these? Yeah, I just throw them down. You need to let them dry? Them. Just, you just, just throw, throw them, them the out here and they grow. No, they'll, they'll grow. Mm -hmm. So we got a nice little bunch right here, and here's the empties here. And so I, that worked out pretty well. Yeah. I'm going to go in the freezer and show what the freezer looks like. Okay. Yeah, that's a good amount in there. They were frozen. We just we boiled them up a couple days ago. But you can see from the size of my hand there, that's if that's enough for what? Two or three meals? For, but yeah, we, we can have one meal and have leftover. Yeah, if yeah. We'll and you know, we make uh, ack and salt fish typically, and sometimes she throws a little of that homemade bacon I in there. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, so there you go. That's what we do. So you can make aki quiche. Yeah. But we've never had aki quiche. I've never made it here. Oh, but you've made it before. Yeah, I made okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Well, sometime that'd be fun to try. Yeah. It's interesting that it's quiche because quiche would have eggs in it. Yeah, so of course. It, they, and cheese. Eggs and cheese. So. Mm -hmm. it make the paste just the same. So now, so you use, so you use cheese aki mm -hmm. <laughs> to make quiche. Yeah. But you use cheese to real cheese. You use real cheese in it too. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, if, you know, if we had some butter even color, ackee, even if color. we had some of the butter ackee, we could put it in our homemade ice cream. Uh, no, but we, you can do this and crush and and, mm -hmm. and, and, and and put it in the blender. You know, and here's another reason for people to subscribe. Now, our ice cream maker broke, and so we've got a replacement coming, and we're getting one that's a hand crank from the Amish in the U.S. And... Uh, when we have that, we'll we'll share with everybody making some homemade ice cream, and who knows, maybe someday we'll blend these up. And I understand you yeah, put we'll a little baking it. soda or something in them that'll kind of break them down, make them smoother. Um, if you boil it, I think, and you put it in the in the blend. blender, I just crush it enough. with your yeah. mashed that you yeah. mash. But you can put that as for the creaminess yeah. in the ice cream. So there's all kinds of cool stuff we have planned for you guys. But you know, it's nothing special. It's just stuff we, it's just the way we live every day. And we're just gonna continue to live every day. We may show you the same thing twice because we do the same thing another time. We might do this another time too. So we'll just see, you know, I mean, this is our life here in Jamaica. And uh, I just hope you like the video. 
You can watch the advertisements. They're specially curated for you. Um, share the video with anybody who you think might be interested. And please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you're into the bell. I don't do the bell myself, actually. Mm -hmm. but, but I know some people like to do that. They like to know as soon as it's out. But at least subscribe so it shows up on your on your feed or you can go and, and look at ours. Right now, like I said, we're coming out once a week. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So in the meantime, it's been a pleasure seeing you all from the brand of this morning. And uh, we got other things to do down at the farm. Um, I got some new blades coming for my brush cutter. And we've got some brush to cut, as you saw when we were down there the other day. So we got a lot in store. So we've had fun enjoying uh, sharing with you our Adios lives here amigo. in Jamaica. Adios amigo. Bless up.